So it gives him a chance at life because a fighting chance. Was it right. was dictated early. early. Mm. I mean, it gives you a fighting chance, and I, I think bringing it back home, if there are lessons to be learned in things like this, mm. it is that of taking Medicare for our athletes very, very, very serious. serious. Yeah, because uh, if it had not been um, detected, and uh, perhaps it continues and it develops and all of that, so we we'll pray for the guy mm. and wish him well. Yeah. Mm. We'll pray for Carly Kemi. We'll continue to pray for him. We won't stop, particularly at a time when uh, the Super Eagles of Nigeria, they need him. Yeah, exactly. Before I go to social media, because we need to read uh, your comments it's tonight it's on the show. Uh, Joseph, goalkeeping has been an issue it lately. Is, is. And we were, we were actually say after Vincent Yamar uh, retired, yeah. that Carly Kemi was showing some level of consistency. Yeah. Now, going to run on his technical team. They need to go back. And I don't know, with a lot of quality goalkeepers, but one way or the other, we need to do this for Carl. Definitely. You know, uh, now that he's out of the picture mm -hmm. as a result of this illness. The, I, I, don't think, I, don't, I don't think it would be fair to talk about the Super Eagles and our goalkeeping issues for this guy. Mm -hmm. The attention has to be on Carl now. Yeah. There's just something that Carl will be out indefinitely, Alfred. Mm -hmm. And Carl has said it will be his job I'm sure, I'm to sure see Nigeria I think, win the exactly, AFCON and yeah. qualify for I'm the sure World Cup. that in the days ahead, mm -hmm. this will sink into the players the management, the entire Nigerians as a whole. That, mm. That's why I said, as a group, we have to fight. That's right. You know, Whatever we do now, we're doing it for this guy. Yeah. That's one group that I was speaking for. The other group is saying, oh, Carl is now out. What are we going <laughs> to do? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? At some point, That's football at some point, fans for you. It's not that we, 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 we are mm. trying to minimize the impact of what he's going through. Mm. We know yeah. that definitely this, right. is, this is a very sad development. Mm. And uh, we wish him well. We want him to you know, get back. But we also have an issue that we have to attend to. He, he, before this illness, he was the number one goalkeeper that we have. And as it is now, he hasn't been that convincing. Mm. And Gerard Rora, mm. to an extent, has always has fancied the idea of mm. Yama coming back. Mm. I think this is the time for whoever, I mean, for the sake of the nation, for the sake of car, mm. whoever has any grievance against Yama should just forget about it. I think we need to. We need Are to you have going to go to no, that? No, 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 no. We need to. No, I... The reason I'm saying this, the reason I'm saying this is because. Quite frankly, we, we are short of options, if you want to be frank with ourselves. I mean, mm. Akbe is not as good as Iyama. But well, let's, not, let's not even dig There is Ojo at Aqua. Yeah. There is Teofil as a fellow guy. We have Dele Alampasu. We have Emmanuel Daniel. We have Daniel Akbe. I've got about five goalkeepers for you now. I can call Alampasu. That is playing almost the Sunday Sunday football in... in, 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 uh, in in Portugal, you can call names, but what is the profile of these coaches? What is the, what is the profile of these players? Okay, what is their pedigree? Mm. So, what can, can you put them in front of go when you are playing Cameroon confidently and go to bed? So those mm. are the issues. So, so really, I, I do believe we have an issue there, and the uh, Gerard and his team should mm. work on it. To but what I what we I, have sufficient cover. Yeah, in that what, what I believe, and I'm sure um, a, a lot of you guys, the largest ten, will agree. Uh, it's difficult to. To take just one person as a problem in a football match because it's a team sport. Yeah. You know, you can blame Daniel Akpe for this goal for all you care, but the South Africans ran past some players, ran past defenders, some persons were not in their position, someone had a free header. Also, for this, you can say, oh, goalkeeper timing was wrong and all of that, but count the green shirts and count the yellow shirts. There were just two. One pass opened up the defense. Goalkeeper couldn't do anything. So, um, Alfred, instead of us saying, oh, we are bothered about goalkeeper, we should have a winning team. There's this saying that the there's this saying that um, football um, star team and team of stars are not the same in football. Mm. The team of stars doesn't necessarily give you a star team, okay. and which of them wins competition, win games? Which, is, which is, one did Germany give us at the conference? <laughs> no, that one is that one is a star, star team. team. Star yes, team. not a team of stars. Mm. It's a star team. Yeah. It's the function of everybody playing together, That's playing right. to your strength. You know, like the machine, you walk the, the chain, you know, like they say the chain is as strong as its weakest point. That is what it's all about. So this one, you single one player, the days of one player running rings around players to go and score, it's That's effectively right. over. We'll bring you down. It's, it's, it's effectively <laughs> over. If you're doing there, it No, there, there, there was a time, there, no, there, there was a time, there was a time Roberto Carlos got everybody with the kind of free kicks yeah. he used to play. But little did you know that some people were working on him. Yeah. When he had scored several, when they say Brazil outside the box or Real Madrid, freaky mm. Roberto Carlos, you count it as one. 
But when he deconstructed it, he did the calculation and know that it takes a certain number of steps to hit the ball. Yeah. Somebody stand behind the ball. So you don't run through, you have yeah. to run diagonal, you won't get the same force. Yeah. That means some people are thinking. That's yeah. right. Some people are thinking. And that's the point I want to, to make. I mean, we begin to look at, at our options at this time, I think it's too early. The game is, let's just first digest this Carly mm. story. Mm. And I mean, of course, all of the things that come with it. Because whether you like it or not, um, at some point yesterday, I was talking with somebody in the studio while I was doing my program, when the story broke in the evening. And it was like, saw the words, acute uh, leukemia. That's what I'm saying. And the person almost was, came was, down to I tears. It was, it was, it you know, it just struck me that this is somebody that maybe you've not met before. This is somebody you just know that he plays for the national team. He perhaps lived all his life elsewhere. But because this is happening to him as a Nigerian, as a human being, it, is, it makes you feel emotional. So to that extent, I want to say, um, like I said earlier, our thoughts are with this guy. Yeah. I would believe, yeah. like, uh, like yeah. Stegan said, like, goalkeepers, goalkeepers always do fight hard. That's and he right. hopes that he will fight hard and That's come out right. of this. That's what we want. Can't yeah. fight it and get well soon. Good show of love on, uh, on our social yeah. media platforms. I want to appreciate you guys. Keep those messages coming. The hashtag is pray for Carl. Yeah. Uh, Salami Sodi, thank you so much. He says, God will grant Carly Keme a speedy recovery. Yeah. So sad. I'm optimistic. He'll be fine. We're all optimistic here that Carly Keme will come out of this, uh, this one um, fit and sound. Uh, Henry Uche Wanze says, Call the lion in Keme. Yeah. You are a fighter. God watches over you. His eagle eye. We are with you in our prayers. I love that. Thank you so much, Henry, for sending that. Uh, Yusuf Akilaton says, May Almighty Allah grant him speedy recovery. Yeah. Thank you so much. We're praying for Kali Keme on the show tonight. He's been diagnosed with uh, acute leukemia, but we don't care whatever that. That's yeah. just English. Yeah. He's going to come out of it. But Batsunde Ogidon says, uh, I pray for his recovery. You couldn't go much. That's just all we need to pray for his recovery. Uh, Felix that says, Carl, be a man and be strong. Uh, Jehovah is with you. He has healed more critical sicknesses than this nonsense. That's why you call him wow. nonsense. Yeah. You say, he will By heal you. Are healed. That's right. <laughs> so, uh, man, everybody going spiritual for Carl. Yeah, came, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like that. Uh, but some MPFL fans in between are talking to us because they don't know what's going on. But we're just showing our love to Carl. Kemme. As uh, Joel says, our thoughts and prayers are with you, Carl. God will see you through and heal you. So, bro, get well soon. And it says with the hashtag, pray for Carl. Let's keep that hashtag going. Let it trend. Pray for Carl. Pray for Carl. He came in. He said, God Almighty, will you in Jesus' name? That's from Stephen, uh, Professor Chris in Aina. Um, also wishing Carl he came in. Well, Ola Dakpo Maxwell says, get well soon, Carl. We really need you this time around. Wow. That's, that's it. You know, sometimes it's not just even, okay, just imagine it wasn't available for the last month, but yeah. he could give Daniel Akpen a call. He could be there, exactly. rally around the team. I remember he was on social media saying uh, he's still rooting for Nigeria despite not being around. Yeah. Presence matters. It does, it does. Mm. I do believe that uh, it, even his situation should inspire the Super Eagles to want to, to qualify for the World, for the world Cup mm. and the Nations Cup as well. You know, because this is somebody who's been part of the bunch. I mean, somebody just came in and he just hit the, the ground running. You know, Yamaha wasn't out, was out and he just came in and fitted in almost like a glove. Mm. And um, the way he, he handled that position, quite mm. frankly, like a veteran. And I must say that... Uh, we can draw a lot of inspiration from... from, from Agreed, and that's you know, the inspiration. I will continue to pray for Carly Kemen. Sports tonight on Channels TV. We'll go on a quick break. When we come back, the International Champions Cup will be addressed. Stay.